Little Miss Allie Glines did this video with her subscribers to find out what their hidden gems with and I asked all of you what yours were and right now I'm going to show you a full face application of what your hidden gems were that you told me so stay with me we're going to get into it right now. so happy that you're here with me today because we are going to have all kinds of fun. I am blindly trying on all of this makeup today that you said was your hidden gems and I am so excited to do that and that is what turned out with this look. I think it turned out fantastic. I have found some new really good holy grail products for me I'm excited about and I think you're going to be excited about them too because the community has spoken and now we get to talk about it. All right I'm going to put a timestamp right here that you can get into the video where I actually do the application and talk about all the products that will be right here and the reason that I do that is because my intros get a little bit longer so if you want to skip over the intro right now go to this timestamp and you'll be able to start right into the video firstly we always talk about my shirt now you're gonna see right here when I stand up as I was getting ready I did get a little bit of makeup on my shirt right down there by my tummy sorry about that but this shirt is all kinds of fun it is a really nice lace inset shirt the lace goes all the way down about halfway down the sleeve and then you have this gorgeous little bell petal sleeve i think it's so much fun buttoned down it's super lightweight there's several colors i think you'll love it very comfortable and very cool as i'm wearing it during the summer and being the bonehead that i am i really wanted to wear this necklace for you guys today and i completely spaced it off i am in love with this necklace because it's a lariat style but you can adjust it so you can make it a little bit of a choker and down here on the bottom it just has this pendant type pearl on it so it's pearl on one side and then the chain on the other side and you can open it up if you want to make that shorter so that that pearl shows a little bit better it's just so pretty I love this necklace. The earrings were every bit as cute. I love them. They've got a little bit of an enameled butterfly in there, but they also have the back. These kind of earrings I love. So that is the back of it. And then the front of it is just the butterfly. So it gives it some dimension. So all kinds of fun there. I also did want to tell you, I'm going to probably get a lot of people ask about my fingernail polish. I just found the coolest fingernail polish. Now this is the polish color that I put on as a base coat. This is just a Zoya polish and I'll make sure I list and link it down below but I found these top coat things on Amazon and they come in a pack of I want to say four or five and each of them has a duochrome shift top color this one is the pink one there's a purple there's a blue there's a green and I think a yellow and it makes whatever color that you put on top of it like it made that pink look like this and I love that I just realized that in my last video where I was wearing the white shirt I didn't put this information in there so I have to insert it right now we're going to put up a number right here on the screen that will correspond to whatever product that I am talking about at that moment this is an easy way for you to shop so that you you don't have to remember the name and the color and all of that of what I'm talking about at that moment. What's going to happen is I will hold up whatever product that's number three or, you know, the third product we've talked about. And then the three will come up on the screen right here. You just remember, I liked number three. And then you go down into the description box next to the number three will be the name, the color, the size, if that applies and the link. And you can shop that way if you'd like to. Those are affiliate links. So I do appreciate your support in supporting my channel so very much. Okay. Now you're going to go back and see me in a white shirt. So enough chit chat. Let's get into these products that you guys picked out. Thank you so much for participating in this video. It was so much fun for me to take that poll and then be able to try your very favorites out. I had so much fun doing this. I can't wait for you to see what I found today. Let's do this. Here goes the bare face. Okay, I'm so excited to do this because these are all the things that you guys talked about. Some of them I have tried before, so I'm excited to retry them, such as the Milani eyeshadow primer. This was overwhelmingly, this one and Ulta one, and I couldn't get to Ulta, so I just went ahead and I kind of 
went shopping at the real drug stores. <laughs> it's spreading across really nicely across my eyes. Okay, as we let that set down, we're gonna do our other primer. One of the ones that you guys talked about was the Neutrogena Radiant Primer Serum. I have not even heard about this one, so I'm excited about this one. There was a couple of them. Actually, I'm putting two primers on today, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put a dropper full of that. That's the consistency of it, and it's very, very thin and very watery, so it feels very hydrating. So um, really love a good hydrating primer that makes my skin feel like it's going to get plumped up. That really helps a lot. But overwhelmingly, there was so many of you that talked about the L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base. And I can't remember trying this at all. So I do know that this is a very kind of almost heavy silicone. So since I've already put that other primer on, I don't want to overwhelm my face too much with too many layers, but I think it would be really good to go right through the, my pore area through here. So I'm going to put a thin layer across my nose. This is going to mattify, which is really nice. Um, and then where I have my really big pores, uh, across my cheeks, my chin. This feels very smoothing. It feels very mattifying. It just feels really nice across the skin. So I'm excited to continue to give that one a try. Now you guys really shocked me because there were only like three or four of you that talked about any sort of eyeshadow palette. So I picked up the other one that two of you talked about. And this is from Pacifica. This is the Magical Eyeshadows. I've never tried any of Pacifica's eyeshadows. I have to say that it looks very pretty, so we will find out how it goes today. Usually I start off with a peach, and since there's not a peach in here, I'm gonna go in with this warm kind of orangey color, and I will mix it with the beige color right here. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put that onto my transition still a little bit too dark so i'm going to pick up a little bit more of that light color to blend it with now i've got it too light <laughs> too light too dark too light too dark this is blending really well i did not even realize i was missing out by not getting any sort of shadows from them i'm going to take this green right here and i'm going to mix it with this brown right here so those are going to be my outer v colors and i'm just going to take that brush and go right in here into the outer part and I just lay that down, that color down first. And then I kind of turn my brush and push it outward a little bit. And then I'll go in and I will just buff that around. Next, I think I'm going to take this brown color right here and I mix it with this brown and kind of at that base down there just to try the shadows out a little bit more. And I will say that they aren't super pigmented, but they're going on well and they're blending well. And... I like that about it. All right, the next brush I'm gonna take is a paddle brush. And I'm gonna start off with this kind of a, kind of a medium beige color. I'm gonna go over my whole entire lid with that and meet that other color. Then I'm gonna take that angle brush and I'm just gonna go straight towards the tail of my brow. Pretty, they're very pretty shadows. So yeah, like those. All right, overwhelmingly, it was the L'Oreal True Match. So I got, a cool color and I don't know why I got this warm color, but I did get this warm color. It just looked so different than what normally warm colors look like. And look at, it's almost gonna be a perfect match. Okay, I'm glad about that. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pick it up. This is the way I normally do. I'm gonna pick it up and I'm just gonna start kind of just bouncing it around. Okay, that's one coat and that is really pretty. I really actually do like it a lot. I am going to try and just put a little bit more right here where I have my discoloration. I'm gonna just put it through there and right there on my cheeks where I have a little bit of redness always pop through. That's pretty. I mean, that is a really pretty foundation. I think that's one of our forgotten gems. I was also surprised that I only got a couple of recommendations for concealer and it was the e.l.f. camo. And the e.l.f. camo that I have, I only have a really super light one that would look ridiculous. So I'm gonna interject one of my hidden favorites or my hidden gems at the drugstore here uh, that I've recently re uh, discovered. And it's the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear. Don't flip out when you see me put 
so much right here. I promise it's going to work out. If you want to see the video where I do this, then um, I'll make sure that I try to throw it up in a card. I'll forget to do a card. I'll put it down below in the description box because I'll forget it every time. Okay, now I let that set and I go and I do my brows. So there's two products. The Lift and Snatch from NYX and there was the Rimmel Wonderful Brow. But these, there was very limited colors. There was a medium brown, which I'm thinking might be a really dark one for me. I love using a little bitty spoolie to start with. And you're gonna see me make a lot of mistakes that I will have to clean up at the very end. Um, that's just me, that's my shakiness. That's what happens. But this is how I do my brows. I like to just do them with a brow gel. All right, let's try the L'Oreal Lift and Snatch, and then we'll see what we can do about cleaning up the rest. Tiny little pen. Holy crap, that probably would make some really good little strokes here. So we'll find out. Um, and this is in ash brown. This one was, like I said, in medium brown. Did I even show you the spoolie on this one? Probably not. I liked it. It was like the one I was used to using. So... Yeah, so let's put a few little brow hairs in here, little extra ones, and then I will clean up. I'm so not used to doing this. I've never done this before, but you guys said it was great for making your brows look like they actually had more hair. I will say that I like the effect that they both gave together, kind of, a, you know, a little bit more of a, a laminated kind of brow feathery effect. Now, since I don't have one of these at the drugstore, this is just my Benefit Highbrow, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to clean it up underneath. It's just easier for me to use this than anything else. Don't you just hate how eyebrows never look the same? They never turn out the same. It's like, what the heck? Anyway, <laughs> this one I used to have and I used to love it and I forgot all about it. So we're talking a uh, forgotten gem on this one. So thank you guys so much. This is the e.l.f. Contour Palette. In the past, this has been the perfect shade for me to do my contour. So we're going to load this brush up and we're going to see about doing some contour bronzer here and see how we like it. I always go into my hairline and I start there. See, it's such a good color to disguise a really high forehead. I love it. And then I'm going to take it just a little bit on my cheeks here. And what's nice is as you push it towards your forehead and shear it out, then it becomes pretty, you know, like a bronzer. And I like that too about it. It's so pretty. And then just a little bit along the saggy jowls right here. And straight down the neck and a little bit of a V in order to hide the nasty double chin. Thank you guys for reminding me of how good that is. I just really love it. All right, now we get to go in and blend out the concealer. And I won't talk much about this because the, I really love this concealer. It's such a good one and it just works so well. All right, in order to set those under eyes, I need some setting spray. And you all had said that the Radiant Setting Spray was wonderful from Neutrogena, the healthy skin. And I haven't tried any of these. I wanna try the regular one and I wanna give this one a shot. I got the Radiant one and it's not gonna be the best for my under eyes because I don't like them to look radiant. But um, this is what I do. So I spray it on the back of my hand. I take that sponge and I get a little bit and then I'm just going to dot it in order to set just really light handedly. The next one was one that I was so glad to see because this is one of my favorites too. And this is from Wet n Wild and it is the Mega Glow Illuminator and I can't see to save my life what the color of that is. It is in the color When the Nude Strikes. So th these sticks are really good and I think these are definitely hidden gems at the drugstore. I feel like there's so many products that get pushed to the back because there's always the new coming out. So how fun is this kind of a video to be able to do that and look at that glow yeah baby we're glowing but i did have one of you say melissa please 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 review this covergirl blush this is the good old school blushes we used to use from covergirl i feel like the pans are a lot smaller now i think this color is so so pretty i really like this I am going to, where did the, blah, 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 blah. and I'm just going to go down. I found this new brush. This is the coolest brush I just found on Amazon. So I will link it. It looks like it's a little floppy there, but oh, there we go. Oh, it is a pretty color, but you know what? This is like, this is like a nude blush color. How pretty is that? Did I show it to you? 
it's really pretty okay so there so there it is what is going on with my vocabulary so there it is i really think this is very pretty and really happy with that color wow so pretty okay we're getting closer to lips and stuff so one of you said that you love these fruit fetish lip oils from milani oh it's yummy it smells wonderful i think this one is the strawberry watermelon mmm it smells so good oh it's pretty just by itself that's pretty. The next thing is the e.l.f. HD finishing powder. And I didn't know which one you guys meant. I have had the compact before, but I don't think I've ever had the loose one before. So I'm going to get the loose one out and we're going to try this. And you said to do it very lightly underneath the eyes. So I'm using a tiny bit and I'm going to go in with my beauty blender sponge, my little handy dandy little puff thing there. And I'm going to try and just do light, light, light setting. We'll see how this goes. It feels okay. It does feel like it's a little bit maybe too drying for me. So let me try the compact. I, ooh, I love this. I love how this just feels so good in your hand. So I'm just going to use that brush that I had before, kind of get the blush off of it a little bit. And I'm going to barely tap into that. I don't use a lot of powder but it's nice to set the areas that are your T-zone. Help a little bit with breakthrough and blurring, and this is really blurring everything. This is really pretty. This is the one that I remember that I like. If I was wrong and you were meaning the loose one, please tell me. I just, loose powder for me normally just doesn't work really well. You guys, I'm really excited about this one. This one is from one of my friends and this is Kathy and I had never heard about it. Now, Kathy said that Maybelline had a clear eyeliner and I'm like, okay. And then as I read along her comment, she said, use a clear, this clear eyeliner underneath your eyes if you're going to want to do powder for your eyeshadow instead of an eyeliner and eyeliner with powder on top of it is just it's one of those things that is budge proof so i'm going to just go ahead and i'm going to put that liner on and the nice thing about that is you don't have to smudge that because it's clear and nobody can see I mean, you can't see it, so that's awesome. So, um, and then I'm gonna go back into the palette that we used. So we're gonna do the navy blue. And I'm gonna try and not get too much or too carried away. It's hard to do when you're doing powder, I feel like. But I like to do powder a lot instead of um, eyeliner. But here we go. It's gripping right onto there. Oh my goodness. This is such a good idea. Kathy, you're a genius. We love you for doing that. That was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> so I'm going to do the other eye. All right, let's skip over to the eyeliner. We're going to use, um, this one was talked about. This is the Wet and, Wet and Wild 16 hour break up proof waterproof liquid eyeliner. So let's see about this pen. Oh, it's nice and fine too. I like that. And then I had somebody tell me that the lash Paradise Primer is the same as the Lancome. And I don't normally use primers, but I wanted to try it out for this one. Maybe I'll just fall in love with it. We will see. And then the other one that I got told about was from Rimmel. And this is the Wonder Extensions Mascara. It's the patented full stretch formula. So I have never tried this one either, but this wand looks like it can, it might be really good. So we're going to try that. We're going to do... We're going to curl the lashes first. This is my Refer Eyelash Curler. Love this baby. One thing that I want to do before I go into doing that, I want to take a really bright color and just bring it towards the inner corner. I'm going to take this light color and I'm going to mix it with this kind of a shiny light color. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to come right down into that inner corner without going below the eye right there or on onto the bottom part. All right, here is the Wet n Wild pencil and I'm gonna use that. All right, I like that that is so thin that I can get right down in there. That is great. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use the primer. I have never used this one before, so I don't know what this is gonna be. Ooh, it looked like 
extreme volume. I really like that. I will tell you that that little tiny pen on that Wet n Wild helps me keep control of my hands and that was really helpful. Let me show you what that Lash Paradise brush looks like. Just kind of a normal little tiny bit of an hourglass but not much. Okay now I'm going to grab that mascara that I was talking about. Okay, I will say that that primer makes me feel like I had a lot more volume, but it also is not very good with this mascara in particular. A little bit of mascara on the bottom lashes. I have to tell you that I'm really liking that. And then for liner, it was the Milani and there was two colors. The one was nude and it was just way too light for me. And then this one, I think this one is like a cocoa, rich cocoa. By the way, I love that lip oil. I'm gonna be using that all the time. That was so hydrating. smooth formula on that lip liner. I do like it. Called the understatement lip liner. So I actually really do like that one. The next one, again, I didn't have a lipstick. You guys didn't choose a lipstick. That was really weird. I did have somebody list a bunch of Revlon, but we had talked about those in my video very recently. And so I thought I need things that I haven't tried before. And I have not tried the CoverGirl Clean Fresh. Uh, this is the tinted lip oil. This color is uh, fresh squeezed and so we are going to do that one I have to say that lip liner with that lip oil. Wow, that's beautiful. I like that so much. Oh my goodness, I love the way that that feels on my lips. And you know what? I think that's the last product from the Hidden Gems from you guys. There was so much good stuff in here. I absolutely loved the, what we did with the lips, with the lip oil and the lip liner. The lip liner was super silky smooth. I absolutely love that uh, Wet n Wild liner. The tip on it was super fine. Thank you so much for reminding me again about the e.l.f. That was a, a rediscovered that I absolutely love. I love that blush. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for sharing that blush with me. That was a beautiful find. Rediscovered find on the Wet n Wild highlighter. So good. And then of course the L'Oreal Magic Base. That's awesome along with the foundation. That foundation is so pretty. Now, I'm not gonna be able to, you guys know because of my health, I'm not gonna be able to give an update on all of these products that I tried today. By the time, you know, six, eight hour check-in comes around, there's no way. I'm already back in my bed because of the pain in my back and in my legs and everything. So I will, down in the description box, when I link the product for you, right next to it, I'll just give you a little footnote of what I felt like. You know, if, did it last a long time? You know, was it, did it smudge? Did it not? I'll just let you know all that down in the footnote. And if there was anybody that I missed that you feel like I absolutely have to try that product, you need to comment that down below because if they are your hidden gems that you really love that I didn't get into this video, let me know. And I promise you I will try it because I try a ton. So let me know that down in the comment section right now. We're going to put a video right here that you can go over and check out maybe some more tips and tricks um, so that you can check that out too. Thank you so much for being with me today. I love you so very much and I hope that you have a fantastic weekend. Take care of yourselves. Bye my friends.